Welcome to the show, TMC, episode 32. We're talking about Fallout New Vegas. We played Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Fallout 3. One minute rundown. The world is still a complete disaster 200 years, 200 years after these bombs fail, and we still don't have roads. Every house is still a disaster. When you go into it, hey, sir, would you like to stay in our hotel? You go inside, all the mirrors are broken, the floor is dirty, everything's dirty. You think, wow, 200 years, huh? And you you couldn't fix this up? Uh, You live in a land that is a complete wreck, even though you have power stations and computers and artificial intelligence robots with personalities. You play a cowboy who wears a gas mask and miraculously survives two gunshots to the head and then proceed to solve every person's problems in Nevada, after which you single-handedly take out all of the surrounding factions and win the game. That is Fallout New Vegas. That's a very very negative way to put it, I guess. I didn't mean it to be negative. That sounded a lot worse than I meant for it to. (laughs) You made it so terrible. (laughs) Well, let's be honest. It's a game, and I can accept it. It's not going to ruin my enjoyment of the game, but let's be honest. The... Idea that this place is still such a f-ing mess yeah. 200 years after the bombs drop. They're not living like cavemen. Sure. Now, if it destroyed everything and they had lost all access to technology, that's one thing. But they have computers. They have power stations, power lines, mm-hmm. roads that are a mess, but they're still kind of there. They've got guns all over the place. We have a version of Las Vegas with cards and yeah. slot machines and we have hotels and and all that stuff and yet we can't clean our hotels and we're still using bottle caps as currency i'll give them some points on the roads but the hotels are still filthy everywhere i go there are boxes of cleaner on shelves yeah. get one of those boxes and open it up and sh- 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 wipe those walls down the mirror that's broken throw it out yep. go find one that's not broken hang it up you know i think i think mm-hmm. we could handle that if I can raise a stealth bomber out of the lake yeah. in this game, we can replace the broken mirrors in a hotel. Come yeah. on. Fallout New Vegas. Okay, so if you don't know, this is sort of like Fallout 3 Part 2. I think no. all no, games... No, it's not. <laughs> it's not a sequel to Part 3, but it uses the same engine mm-hmm. and basic same basic assets. Yeah. It's sort of like you're playing a DLC of Fallout 3, except it's longer than Fallout 3, I think. I got the perk. I can't remember what it's called, but you get this perk that lets you reveal the whole map. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, there mm-hmm. are a thousand places I never went to. Yeah. So today we're talking about Fallout New Vegas. We played it. We're going to talk to you about it. Fallout's come a long way. From the sprite-based days of Fallout yeah. 1, Fallout 2. For sure. And now we've got the Bethesda treatment on Fallout 3. This struck me. I walked into the Brotherhood of Steel in New Vegas. Yeah. And I walk into a barracks. All along the walls, next to the beds, there are characters just standing there, stiff as a board, straight up yeah. and down, doing nothing. This is exactly what NPCs used to look like on my Nintendo Entertainment System. But at least <laughs> on Dragon Ball, or Dragon Quest, they had... Uh, the decency to walk around yeah in a circle and and why you know move their hands back and forth and whatever before we start i want to rank these games real quick all right my ranking i the reason i thought about i read a um i went to an article it said all the fallout games ranked worst to best yeah and i could not believe what i was looking at i was thinking is there any way that this person ever actually played these games yeah let's, let me open it as a matter of fact let's take a look at it ranking fallout games let's look at games radar you tell me what you think fallout 76 last place i get that number seven fallout shelter i never played it number six fallout tactics i never played it all right now into the actual fallout games fallout one net number five Mm, what that's interesting i don't know why the classic the original yeah fallout two number four Mm, yeah now my eyebrow has shot all the way up i can't even believe what i'm looking at Fallout 4, number three. So, Fallout 4 is better than Fallout 1 and 2. I don't think so. I don't think so either. <laughs> I, I really don't think heavily. so. This person has never played a Fallout game. My personal, and tell me what you think. Yeah, go ahead. I sprung this on you so you don't have to have a ranking, but That's tell fine. me what you think about mine. 
I basically order them in an order of how long it took me to play it. <laughs> so Fallout 1 is number one. Fallout 2 is number two. Yeah. New Vegas is number three. Fallout 3 is number four. Okay. And I haven't played the other ones, so I can't rank them yet. Uh, my personal ranking would be Fallout 1 and New Vegas tied for number one. Mm. Fallout 2, number two. Okay. Uh, Fallout 4, number three. Well, no. Uh, tied both those for last place. Okay. I'll tell you where I am with games. I need games, and I, maybe I'm just playing them wrong. Yeah. That's possible. I'm, I might not be in the right headspace. My enjoyment of a game is inversely proportional to the length of yeah. the game. So if I'm playing some game that's absolutely gigantically huge, the longer I play it, the more stressed I get. Mm -hmm. I start thinking about, wow, I should be working on something. Go for a hike or yeah. swim or be playing with my kids. Anything except playing the 47th hour of this game. <laughs> that's why I love Fallout 1. Yeah, Fallout 1 was a nice, tight, tiny little game. Just a handful of yep. towns. You could get like the whole, you could wrap your brain around the whole game after a couple playthroughs. You get the hang of it. Um, and you can beat it in like five minutes if you want to. Fallout 2 sprawls out way bigger. And then Fallout 3 and New Vegas are even bigger than Fallout 2. I think New Vegas may actually be longer. Yeah. However, it's better to me than Fallout 3. Everything sort of funnels you towards the main quest in some way or another. I got the feeling when I was playing New Vegas that I really felt the quest system. So you go to a place, and that new place becomes the hub for about six, seven, eight, nine, ten quests. Yeah. And some of them are kind of interesting. For some reason in this game, the longer I played it, the more I felt what a drag the uh, the predictability of the quest system was. Yeah. It's like, oh, I know exactly what's going to happen. I'm going to go into the Brotherhood of Steel's hideout, yeah. The main guy's going to be like, hmm, let me see if, I don't know if I can trust you. Let me give you a test mission. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Then, after I do the test mission, he's going to completely trust me mm -hmm. and give me a <laughs> full run of the place. Yeah. And then he's going to give me 14 other things to do, and then I win reputation with the place, whatever. All right, anyway, let's back up. Let me just very quickly, one minute, break down the premise of this game. There are factions. Yeah. So you got the Legionnaires who are like Romans out of time. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got the NCR, which is just the New California Republic, just some guys with guns who can take land. Yeah. And you've got the uh, Mr. Hand, who is the... Mr. House. I'm so, Mr. House. Mr. I'm not thinking of Smash Brothers. Uh, <laughs> Mr. House, who yeah. is the guy in uh, Vegas. There are other factions, and you get points with these factions. I mean, it's a very transparent, real, very simple, simplistic yeah. system where when you go to a place... If you do quests, you get good po good boy points, yeah, yeah, and then you become liked or you become idolized. But if you do bad things, you get bad boy points, yeah, yeah. and you become infamous. And at a certain point, they'll just shoot you at the se the second they see you. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's one way you could put it. Yeah, I mean, isn't that how it works? Is that wrong? It is, but you're the way you're saying is very like <laughs> condescending. <laughs> you're on a continuum. You have a sliding scale: good boy, yeah. bad boy, and then whatever you do you just moves you on the sliding scale. Well, it also depends on what your faction you're good and bad with, is what I'm saying. With oh, well, I understand that the the, the that there is also interplay between the factions. All all of the game elements of this game are a little transparent, which probably just owes to it being made in a very short amount of time, like 18 months or something like that. Let's talk about the world a little bit. Mm -hmm. This game takes place in Nevada. Yeah. So you're around Las Vegas. This world feels way different than Fallout 3. This game has got a whole lot of desert. There's going to be a lot of wind blowing around, scorpions yep. walking around, lots of rocks. Hey, I, but love, I love that shit personally. The buildings are also way more interesting to me in this yeah. game than they were oh, yeah. in Fallout 3. Something about Fallout 3, like everything just mushed together. Yeah. Maybe it was because the green filter was so strong. And Fallout New Vegas, everything feels kind of brown, but it does have a little color. Yeah. Especially when you get to Vegas, the lights, especially if you go there at nighttime, the lights are oh, yeah. flashing, pin up looking girls on the signs and like, <laughs> come to lucky this and come to that. And it's just bombat. Yeah, yeah. You know what Vegas is like. That's, yeah, that's yeah. the whole vibe of that area. That's really cool.
Let me go on a little rant before I tell you some stories about this game. Now, okay. Kevin did not have this experience. This might apply to <laughs> – and actually, maybe I'm the only person on earth who had it. I don't know. Yeah. I didn't have problems with bugs in the game. Once I was in and playing, things loaded, screens loaded, characters are fine. It, I think it crashed a couple times, but over the course of like however many dozens of hours it took, yeah, yeah. That's, that's no big deal. But what I did have a problem with – when I first installed it and tried to start the game, it kept giving me this weird message. What does that mean? Wouldn't start. Yeah. Looked it up. Has something to do with my graphics card. Something's not loading correctly. Just started it, restarted it, restarted the computer, and then for some reason it started working. Okay, great. <laughs> I don't know what I did, but great. I'm playing it, playing it. The next day, I try to load my save game, and it, the little wheel, the loading wheel, just spins. Yeah. I couldn't Alt F. I couldn't Alt F4. I couldn't task manager the screen would not change or refresh it was just the screen i couldn't open the task manager but i could hit the shutdown button and what i would do is i had other stuff open so when i hit the shutdown button my computer says oh are you sure you want to close this and i hit cancel real quick and it, it and i'll be back on my desktop so i okay. don't have to totally yeah. turn my computer off if that makes any sense yeah. Point was what I finally found out worked and i had to do this every time <laughs> i every time i started the game i had to start the game Hit new game. Yeah. As soon as I got control of the character, hit escape and then load my save <laughs> file and it worked perfectly fine. But that was the only way I could load my game. That's Continue, obnoxious. load game, it would not work. Heard a lot of Doc Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to tell some stories about my playthrough. Go for it. This game has geckos, which was awesome because I didn't know they were in the game. Yeah. And I'm wandering around in the first area. Forgot about and all them. of a sudden I see the gecko. Forgot you're not on the East Coast anymore. It's like, oh, there's yeah. a gecko. Yeah. Because those things were all over the place in Fallout 2. And then he starts running and it yeah. cracked me up. I they look it. hilarious when they run. <laughs> they look like those crazy uh, lizards that run on two legs with the the they're like their fins on their face spread yeah. out and they're doing that and wobbling back and forth. Like, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> yeah. And they're so easy. So I was just I had my little lame first gun varmint rifle. The varmint thing, and rifle. I'm, you know, picking them off. Yeah. And it's no problems. Like, oh, this is easy. This is easy. And I turn yeah. around, and there are like 12 of them running right at me. Oh, my God. And they're fast. <laughs> so I am just start. Anyway, they kill yeah, me yeah. like immediately. Oh, of course. <laughs> Several yeah. times. In that early game, yeah, when they gang up on you, they can get you. <laughs> and it was fine. It was fine. It was fine. And then it wasn't fine anymore. Do you remember early in the game when you're supposed to save, I think it was in Prim, this guy named Deputy Beagle? Yeah. So the deputy has been kidnapped by a gang. Yeah. Powder and you're supposed to take care of it. Right, powder gangers. So I went in the hotel, I think it was, the building, the casino building, and I'm going through and shooting powder gangers, and I find him tied up on the floor. Yeah. Perfect. So I go, I loosen him, and I th you, you, can, you have the option of letting him run away or of threatening him to, like, uh, you know, you better help me out. Yeah, yeah. So I did that, and he's like, okay, fine. So he gets his gun out, and we're shooting bad guys. And this game has dynamite. Yeah which was a lot of fun. So I was throwing dynamite because I really didn't have anything much better, and I yeah. blew up Deputy Beagle. Nice. So I saved him. Three seconds later, I blow him up. Yep. <laughs> so, well, that was, that was like the worst rescue of all time. <laughs> I think my favorite section of the game might have been Helios. Helios, yeah. It's a power plant. Yeah. It's just this little self-contained... You have to go in there, and you have to. Uh, it, all these solar panels are up. It's an NCR uh, uh, yeah, yeah. occupied place. You go in for some reason. The NCR guys just let you walk all around their power plant, just like you know it works in these games. If you can yeah, get yeah. in, they'll just let you walk around and do anything you want. <laughs> yeah. So you find the lead scientist, and it turns out this guy doesn't know anything. Yeah, Mister Fantastic. I love that dude. He's like, bro, it was so easy. I just told them like some stuff, and they totally believed me, and yeah. now I'm in charge. He said, obviously, this console is the most important. It's, it's the biggest. biggest. <laughs> so this guy's a real big problem because he can't get the stuff to work. Yeah. You talk to another guy, a brotherhood guy, who's working there in secret. Yeah. To kind of spy. And he actually kind of knows what's going on, but he still needs help. So they send you into an inner part of the base. And, of course, the, as is the way with these games, it's infested with robots and security measures and stuff. Yep. So you go in. I love it. You go in. You walk downstairs, immediately two turrets just mow you down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Reload. Yep. Duck around the corners, trying to shoot them. I, you can't even 
see them really. I, I can't even get a good shot on them. Yeah, so they, they just start up immediately. And my guns stink, and I'm like, I'm trying to duck around, duck around, shoot, shoot. They they take me out two or three more times. Yeah. Reload, reload, reload. So this time, I'm, like, I'm just going to run across because there's a door. I run across, open the door, made it. Took a few hits, but I made it. Go in there, do the stinking computer hacking thing, yeah. which we're going to talk about later. Leave. Oh, there's a Protectron right outside the door. As soon as I walk out, he just blasts me. Boom. Yeah. Oh, great. So uh, I finally figure out, oh, Stealth Boy, go in, bam, turn the turrets off, go out, grenade rifle, blow yeah. up the Protectron. Anyway, that's what this whole place is like. Yeah. It feels like a, a, a cool puzzle. And it's like I had some decent weapon. I had the grenade rifle, which was pretty good, but I didn't have a ton of great weapons and my armor wasn't great, so I had to be careful. And you had to just kind of solve some situations and blah, 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 stuff. And when you get to the end, oh, now here's the computer I have to work with. Yeah. And what was cool is you need a certain amount of repair skill or some parts to fix this thing. It's like, oh, my repair skill is so close, but I don't have enough. Mm -hmm. I need to go find some parts. So I'm taking, I have to go back to the facility and try to find the parts. I was dreading it. I hate, I hate just trying to find stuff like yeah. that with no idea. But I'm looking around, looking around, and and I just randomly, as I'm looking down at the ground, like, oh, there's a magazine there. I pick it up, and it's the one that raises your repair skill. Yeah. Just the perfect amount of repair skill I needed. I picked it up, <laughs> took it back, used the magazine, fixed it, bam, it was perfect. That's funny. For some reason, that was just one of my favorite parts of the game. I love that part. Uh, I did uh, blow up the Brotherhood of Steel, which yeah. psh, I would never have expected I was going to do that. I didn't want to, but... Yeah. I'm trying to finish the game for the podcast, and the game just keeps going. Yeah. I'm running out of time. Without giving it away, you have to go to all these different factions and do things, and I'm sent to the Brotherhood of Steel, and my boy is like, you got to take them out. Yeah. And really, when you're talking to him, I, you don't have a lot of options to negotiate the solution. Oh, He's yeah. basically like, yeah, just kill him. Okay. Yeah. I guess I'll do that. So I went there. You see the pattern pop up. He's like, hey. Do this little trust, gain my trust with this quest. Great. Oh, now here I've got a whole bunch of other things I need you to do. I'm like, I yeah. don't have time for this. I'm just going to blow it up. There's something about that place. I just can't tell where I am or where I'm going. It took forever just to find the stupid computer, but I finally found it. Yeah. You got to have a, a hundred hacking skill, uh, hacking. science, science yeah. skill. I need a I total 100% hacking yeah. skill to get in the computer, uh, which I had. I got in. As soon as I turned on the self destruct, Everyone aggros me in the entire building. Oh, yeah. Everybody starts attacking me. That's not going to work. I don't have that kind yeah. of ability to withstand these guys. So, all right, reload. What do I do? Uh, I pickpocket the big guy. He's got a key card. Okay. One key card, it turns out, is no good. doesn't help you very much. Yeah. But I find out that you can hack the turrets. There and you, you can go. set the Brotherhood as the target. <laughs> Why would you have a security system that way? I don't know. I don't know. How would you even do that, practically? But I just went into the computer and went, yeah. please kill all Brotherhood, initiate, and then you hear turrets start firing. <laughs> Go outside, everybody's laying on the floor. Yep. Easy peasy. Um, and then I set the self-destruct, and then I left, and I blowed up the uh, the Brotherhood. I didn't want to do it, but I had to. Yeah, I didn't have time to mess around with that. When you go to uh, Novak... By the way, the name Novak comes because of a yeah. sign that says no vacancy and yeah. the last part of the letters don't work. So they call it Novak. Did you do the quest with the sniper? Boone? I didn't take him as a companion, but I did yeah. do his thing where he's like, she wouldn't just leave. Yeah. So he's, he you know asks you to investigate it for him, and I do. And if you go through the whole quest, you find out that the, like the woman who runs the hotel there sold his wife into slavery. She has a locked safe. Yeah. You can break into it, and then she has the bill of sale in there. Yeah. So she, she was, and the woman was pregnant. So she sold Boone's wife into yeah. slavery. When you find out about that, Boone says, whenever you find out who did it, you just bring him out in front of the dinosaur. Yep. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. I've, yeah, I've done that quest for. Put Not this beret on their head. Yep. This is another part where the game gets a little silly because I'm like, why would anybody do that? You go to the woman and you say, hey, I got something I want to show you, literally. Yeah, yeah. She's like, okay. And you walk out. It's the middle of the night. Walk out. Then you, I guess you just put the hat on her head. Yeah. As soon as you do it, her head explodes. Bam. Yeah. I've n never considered Fallout to be a uh, horror game, but I got yeah. one legitimate jump scare while I was playing. 
So that section where you're trying to send these Looney Tunes into space, yep. they want you to clear out the ghouls in the basement. Uh, not the ghouls, the uh, Nightkin. Uh, Nightkin in the basement. Yeah, yeah. Nightkin are these super mutant purple kind of things, and they use stealth boys, yeah. which in this game make you invisible. Yeah. It's like the Predator. You can see something, but you can yeah. just barely see it. So I'm down there. I've only seen the one guy I'm dealing with, and he's like, solve this problem with this ghoul down there with a gun, with yeah. a sniper rifle. Help me out. So I deal with that problem. I, the guy runs off. I'm walking back upstairs, and as I get to the top of the stairs, this thing, like this shimmer, appears <laughs> in front of me. And when they attack, yeah. they they become visible. So I get to the top of the stairs. This shimmer is in front of me. I'm like, what is that? And then all of a sudden, this nightkin is in my has jumped in my <laughs> face and is hitting me. And I'm like, ah! <laughs> I scared the crap out of me. Things about the game that I hate. Yeah. The hacking sucks. I hate yeah. it. I freaking hate it. It's like this game. Yeah. And you get four tries. You have this whole well, list of letters. You get four words. tries if you're a basic bitch. I'll tell you about it in a second. <laughs> anyway, you, you, first of all, in Fallout 3, when you hit the hack button Hanks. and the screen comes up, you could just click yeah. and take it right to the code. Yeah. But in this game, you have to watch this little introductory typing thing. It's like an extra five seconds. Uh, I'll tell you exactly why they did that. Crap. Why? Because of what I just said. It gives you four tries. If you do three tries and then back out, you can just go back into it again. Oh, yeah. Do I do that. You do, yeah. yeah. I think they probably just did that to discourage that. Well, if you don't, you you shut down the terminal. Four tries is not enough to get the right answer because oh, yeah. they're like 20 words. Yeah. You can't do it. So you have to back out. You have a list of words. You click on a word. You have to find the right word. Let's yeah. say, let's just say there are twenty of them, and the harder the terminal, the bigger the words. So you click on one, and it says, "Oh, you got one out of six letters correct in mm -hmm. this." So you're like, "Oh, well, okay. What letters did I get? Let me click on this one. Oh, you got three out of six. And through the process of elimination, you're supposed to find the right word, and then you hack into the terminal. Yeah. But four, tr really, you have three tries. If you do four tries, yeah. you mess it up, you lock yourself out of the terminal. And three is not enough to fix it, or four is not enough to fix it, yeah. to, to find the word. It's just not. So you're constantly backing out, doing the puzzle again, and when you, when you log back in, the words are different. What I do is I just pick a little corner of the screen, yeah. and I'm clicking always in the same places down there. That's what I do, too. Um, and then every once in a while, you'll get a clue and say, oh, okay, hold on, this makes perfect sense, and I'll take a second and actually try to figure it out. Yeah. But most of the time, it's basically incomprehensible. Like You can't figure out, based yeah. on what you clicked, what to hit. And sometimes it's wrong. I did one one time, and it said, you got one out of blank letters right. Mm -hmm. And I'm after clicking a couple more times, that's, not, that, that's, that, that's impossible. That can't mm -hmm. be the case. Anyway, it wasn't making any sense. Bottom line, the hacking is terrible. Lock picking is so silly. So you'll you'll go <laughs> to the bank. Yeah, they got all these safes back there that, with a little light on it. Yeah, you like, oh that looks kind of sophisticated. You go back there, you hit the uh, unlock button, and then up on your screen there's a little keyhole yeah. with a bobby pin and a screwdriver. No matter what you're trying to unlock, yeah. it's always the same thing. Every lock is the screwdriver and the bobby well, pin. It's I like that I, makes no sense. I think it's intended to be metaphorical more than that. I understand that, yeah. but it takes me out of the game. Like, oh, am I, I'm I'm cracking some top yeah. shelf piece of security with a screwdriver yeah. and a bobby pin. I don't know when games started using Bloom. Now, if you don't know, yeah. Bloom is this additive light effect. I should have turned it off because I, I it's so it looks so bad to yeah. me. It's just that it's just their version of overexposed light. Yeah. So you'll be around outside and everything is kind of fuzzy. Yeah, because it's, it's so tough. bright out there. And it just creates like this this soft fuzziness to everything that is, to me is really yeah. off putting. Walking in this game is endless. Yeah, I feel like I'm playing Death Stranding. Yeah, I'm walking just a lot. walking, walking, <laughs> walking through the desert, walking. And yeah, there's a lot of stuff, but your character doesn't move all that fast. Yeah, this ain't Doom guy. I and, tell you what, I wish they would bring back in these uh, Fallout games from Fallout Two is the car. Let me tell you what I did. The best thing, if you play this game, do this. Yeah. You got to use the console command. Yeah. Turn that speed up 200%. <laughs> I, so to go back to my stories for just a second, when I got, I was getting to the end of the game, I was trying to get through this. I'm running out of time. I'm like, I don't have time for this. So I'm trying to fix some arrays at the Air Force Base. Yeah. 
And I'm going back and forth between Helios and this place, and there is something I need at Helios. And the, the quest marker is on, I'm standing on top of the quest marker. I do not see the thing. Mm -hmm. It should be very apparent. And I just knew it was going to be a problem. I went back to the Air Force Base, and I had like five, and I needed six. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I need like 65 repair skill to solve this problem, which I don't have. Yeah. The whole point of this town is you've got to build up enough reputation. It's like there's only so many things you can do. I have to have a lot of medical skill for this. I have to have a lot of repair skill for this. I have to have a lot of uh, science skill for this. And like, what am I supposed to do to get the reputation? Because you have to do it. Yeah. So I said, F it. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Google.com console commands, baby. Tell me what I can do. Yeah. Okay. 15,000 experience points. Brrr, <laughs> knock that in. Yeah. You gain like six levels. Dump all my oh, points into repair yeah, yeah. so that I can repair the thing. And then I'm like, oh, hell yeah. So brrr, all the points into yeah, yeah. medical so I can cure all the people. Now, that this this way, I have saved myself hours of yeah. futzing around. And I have gotten the, you know, moved the story along like I was supposed to. Also, the console command for doubling your speed. Oh, the game was so yeah. much better after I doubled my... I mean, the guy's not super slow. Yeah. But when you're just walking across an endless desert, yeah. I'm just thinking, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wish I had a pair of skates on or a hoverboard or a car or something. God almighty. 200% speed, and you are zooming through. Now, yeah. is it cheating? Yeah, I guess so. But guess what? It makes the game... Sure. It, you go. You walk twice as fast, the game is 10 times as fun. Well, ain't nobody got time, time for that. Ain't, ain't nobody, nobody got time, time for that. <laughs> awesome stuff. Yeah. Uh, awesome gameplay. Vegas, great vibe. Yeah. Desert, great vibe. The like the buildings and the architecture and stuff, huge step up from Fallout Three in my oh, yeah, opinion. Yeah. I love the whole v uh, aesthetic of the game better. Me too. The shooting is better in this game. You kill things faster. Like Fallout Three, a lot of things like the super mutants and stuff were bullet sponges. Yeah. And you'd just be shooting them, and they really wouldn't even do anything like oh i'm just sitting here taking bullets until my little meter <laughs> runs out and then i'll fall over and be dead yeah and if there's it felt so weird and fake and you didn't get a lot of feedback from shots like you'd shoot someone and they you know if you shoot someone they should acknowledge that they've been hit yeah yeah they should jerk fall back something yep. and sometimes you'd just be shooting something and, and they're just shooting you back it's like but this game it felt better things died faster but you also died fat well I felt like I died fast. I, I died a lot. I definitely in this died game. faster. Me too. I died a lot of I times in this had, game. Um, Thank God for fast travel. Couldn't imagine the yep. game without it. And listen, if you like to do stuff in games, this game you could you could play this game for two hundred hours easy just doing stuff. Oh yeah, well like replaying I said, it with different skills, siding with different factions, great characters. Yep. The Securitrons are kind of funny. Uh, every town you go to, there's like a cool old lady there or a cool oh, yeah, yeah. old dude. You got to help this guy with his cows. Everybody you, has a lot of interesting stories. Uh huh. It feels yeah. a lot more crafted. You feel like you're in a community. Once I started adding levels, baby, I yeah. was cranking my skills up. <laughs> you want to talk about breaking the game? Yeah. How about let's add that to awesome gameplay? You can break this game, baby. Oh, yeah. I had 100 sneak. Yeah. Just uh, crouch, and you can do anything you want. Go anywhere you want to. Oh, I forgot to tell you. So I had a problem with Caesar invites me to come yeah. meet him. All right, I, you've got to. So I go do that. And every time I walk up to him, they just start firing at me. I, oh, guys, I'm weird. invited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm invited. Leave me alone. So yeah. I thought, well, maybe it's my companions because my, my Veronica hates the Legion. Yeah, yeah. I leave them on top of the hill. I go down. Every time they see me, they keep firing at me. Huh. What? I, I, I didn't understand what's happening. Yeah. It turns out I'm wearing NCR uniform uh, or clothing. You're disguised. Yeah. Yeah. So they all they see is NCR. They start yeah, shooting. Yeah. Once I took that off, no problem. Yep. I feel, <laughs> it's a pretty deep game. You can do a lot yeah. of stuff. If you have a lot of speech, yeah. if you have a lot of barter, actually comes up a lot. I feel like all of my favorite games are kind of like, in a way, like sort of greater than the sum of their parts sometimes. It's kind of fascinating that a game that is as big as it is in some ways in such a short amount of time. Yeah. In a lot of ways, it doesn't really work in some way. You know, it's very buggy. Yeah. It's kind of the same thing with Daggerfall, where like the more a game just like swings to the fences, the more I like it. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, that's There's nothing wrong with a game having some rough edges. Yeah. It's character. Yeah. Let's talk about the ending. The <laughs> yeah, ending is so much better in this game oh, than yeah, yeah. Fallout 3. 
They went back to the way that Fallout 1 and 2. That is an integral part of those games yeah. to me. You get to affect the whole world. Your decisions matter, and you find out exactly how they matter at the end of the game, yep. and that makes you want to replay because, and you said this earlier, I felt like I got basically the worst ending you could yeah. possibly get because yeah. everything that you are in contact with gets a slide at yeah. the end of the game. So I beat the game, tells you, the you know, oh, here's what blah, blah, blah. And then you start going through all the towns you went through. Now, some of the earlier ones where I was doing more quests, yeah, those were pretty good. Prim, Good Springs, yep. uh, Novak. I was doing a lot of stuff in those places, so those were good. And then you start getting into other places, Jacobstown, Sloan. I went through there, and so anyway, all these places. Oh, something terrible happened here. Something <laughs> terrible happened here. The night kin yeah. just went crazier and crazier, yep. and then the town was abandoned. Oh, the robot dog. Well, you never found a replacement brain, so the robot dog dies. <laughs> uh, it's like the cherry on top. <laughs> oh. So it makes me want to play the yeah. game again because I'm like, dang, i got to fix all these places. As a final thing before we finish up the episode, how would you like to take a quiz to find out which Fallout character you are? Ooh, a quiz. Sure, I'll take your quiz. All right. What's your strength? Dedication, discipline, creativity, or trustworthiness? Uh, I, I don't know. Just pick one. Uh, let's do creativity. Two hours later. You know what? This quiz is way too long. Nine out of 30. I'm really messed up here. What's your favorite food? <laughs> Two hours later. We're almost there. What is your favorite pet? Dog, cat, parrot, fish? Cat. Two hours later. What's the best way to start the day? Coffee, sports, laying in bed, or eating a healthy breakfast? Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you are... Ethan Hunt. Who the hell is Ethan Hunt? Isn't that the guy from uh, Mission Impossible? Yeah, but this is supposed to be Fallout. Wait. Oh, you know what? Fallout, not the not the Fallout I'm thinking of. Like uh, Mission Impossible Fallout. That's the name of a Mission Impossible movie. Uh, ah! 